Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of the Cobra Town Build. In this episode, I've got the nose on, um, and now I've realized where the real work begins on these things. Up to this point, it was pretty much like building the Roadster. Uh, a lot of the same, I mean, aluminum a little bit different, but you know, the chassis, uh, a little bit different. Uh, but it's all pretty similar. This is a whole nother world. So, yeah, I'm, let me show you what the issues I've got. So, the nose is on, just sitting here, it's not bolted down. Um, as you can see, I've kind of taped off where I need to move this thing backward because as you can see this here should line up with the pontoons. I'm about a quarter of an inch um, proud the nose. So this thing's got to be moved this way because you can see here I'm, I'm all the way back uh, as far as it'll go. So I'm kind of running a tape line here. I've measured that quarter inch, uh, which I'm already here or there, but then this thing does not fit that well. So I'm going to kind of tape this. I'm going to grind that off. Uh, the other side's even a little bit worse. Um, so I shove this thing all the way back like this. I'm a good half inch probably on this side. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, yeah, so this thing is definitely going to have to uh, be adjusted. I'm way low in the center, um, but I'm thinking some of the rubber bumpers are going to kind of move these things around. Once I get those set, then it'll shove this down a little bit. So I'm not too concerned about that. Um, as you can see, the pontoons stick way out here, but the whole body's got to be sucked in. Uh, this thing's got to go in that way. See, and then it'll line up pretty good. So, that as you can see, the nose is going to be a major, major pain. Uh, a lot of work. So, I think my first step, um, and I don't know if this is right or not, this is the way I'm going to attack it. If someone sees this different, let me know. I'm going to center it this way, uh, side to side. Try to get it, you know, so it's on here square. I'm going to mount the hinges, because the hinges are adjustable. Um, and then once I've got the hinges set up, then I can swing this thing up and down. Well, it won't because it's going to hit here. But then I can kind of figure out how much I need to take off. I'm going to basically plastic cover the entire car, and then I'll start grinding the back of this off until it fits. And then I can get it so it's just, there's no almost no gap. And then I can make sure the alignment's good, then gap it, and go from there. But my first step is side to side. I'll measure from probably shock tower out to the lip here. And then we'll start getting the hinges in. So, as I said, I thought I would just throw this nose on and bolt it down and be ready to roll. And then not the case. This is actually going to be a lot more work than I thought. And you see, the nose definitely does have to go back. Because if you reach back up in here, I'm not up against that seal. Not even really close. So I may have to bend that whole aluminum back up, uh, which wouldn't be too bad to do. Um, but as I said, this is going to take some work. So... I'll try to document the most I can, but we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, I'll do the best I can, but thanks again for watching, and uh, this is going to take some time. So, thanks again. So, I got the nose shoved as far back as I can get it to go. So, I'm going to measure from this top corner right up into there. So, I'm 18, and we'll call it 3 eighths, a little less than 18 and 3 eighths. From that top frame member to the top of that. Let's see, and if we're close here... Oh, we're way, way off here. So we're only 17 and a half here. So this thing, this nose has got to go this way a little bit. So I'm going to try to pick this thing up. Okay, and then we'll keep measuring here. So I'm measuring from the top of that frame, which I don't know how close that is. So now I'm just about 18. I'm actually going to measure from the shock, just so I know that's probably better. So I'm 17 and uh, we'll call it 5 eighths. Oh, there we go. So now we're about 17 and a half. Oh, that's, we're getting close now. So I'm just going to kick it just a skosh. Okay. So that one's just 17 and a half and a sixteenth. So 17 and nine sixteenths. Oh, I think we're spot on now. Okay. So now I've got the hood you know this way centered. So now I'm gonna actually hold these hinges up here and see what we end up with. 
Okay, as you can see, I'm kind of putting the hinge together. Probably should have washers on this outside, but I'm not going to hit that yet. The threads are messed up on some here. This nut's not going in there very well. All right. So, we're going to climb up underneath here. I'm going to show you how this thing goes. Uh, well, maybe I won't. Oh, this thing is going to be a pain in the ass, too. So, this gets up into here like so. Hopefully, you guys can see this. That hinge is all the way forward, forward, and I've got, I've got a good three quarters of an inch before I get to the light bucket. So, <laughs> let me try the other one, but this is not looking pretty. This looks like I'm gonna have to cut a whole bunch off the back of that hood, which makes sense. Let me show you what. So if I reach my hand up under here to get that seal up against this, this thing has got to go quite a ways that way. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking quite a ways. So I may just, uh, <laughs> but then I'm gonna end up with the pontoons here. <sighs> yeah, this is gonna be a pain in the butt. Let me try the other hinge. I've still got too much gap between the light bucket uh, up front and the hinge. So basically I need to cut more off the back before I can get this thing back further. Uh, this side here is a quarter of an inch plus. Uh, then I got it lined up probably more than that. So I'm basically gonna try to get this to almost get it even so there's no gap and then I can gap it. Uh, but I put this tape on so this will at least have a straight line. Cause you can see where this thing now kind of curves in. Um, I don't know if you can see that. But this tape, tape is pretty darn straight, so you can see where this whole nose kind of curves into the top. So we're going to whack all that off, whack these bottom edges. Then this thing's going to go back about another, you know, three-eighths of an inch. That'll still get me tight, get this a little bit closer, and then hopefully then I can get the hinges lined up. And then it should get me pretty close with the box up here to seal. So I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do. But I'm going to have to pull the, the whole nose has got to come off. So I'm going to need two people, so I'm kind of dead in the water today since it's all by myself. But uh, this is kind of my plan. So if somebody thinks something looks crazy on this and my plan doesn't look good, please holler before I start cutting because I don't want to have to add back fiberglass. That's a bigger pain. So thanks again. Okay, so the nose is back off. I'm going to hit this with the DA, cut it back to the tape line, then throw the nose back on and uh, see what we end up with. Okay, so I took a... Uh, Basically, I think it was like a nine inch grinder and I hit it real quick and then DA'd it smooth. So now it's nice and straight. So I'll wipe this all down. We're gonna throw it back on. You can see all the dust. So a lot of glass, so definitely wear a respirator. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty good. So this is my last update. Uh, I cut the back of the hood. Um, as you can see, the gap is all pretty good now. A little high here still, which that's the way it was before, but I'll, I'll uh, clear that up. Uh, but you can see at least now it's fairly straight down that road but i still have got you know a little bit of an overhang so i'm probably gonna whack um i'm thinking another quarter off of this and that should put me pretty darn close um because i'm getting pretty close there and over here getting pretty close so i'm thinking a quarter of an inch and uh, you can see it's pretty pretty squared up over here. I mean, it's not ideal, but it's uh, got to take a little more off the bottom there. You can see that's hitting there, but not up here. So we'll uh, lay another tape line out, and uh, I think then we'll pull it back off. I think we'll get it pretty close. And the nice thing is now, with this back up in here, I'm just about up against that lip. So it's almost there. So I think we're getting closer. Um, I guess we'll post this now. 
So we'll uh, we'll post this video more. No, maybe I'll do some a little more work on the nose, and then we'll kind of post it up. Uh, I, I don't want to, you know, too many videos, but I don't want to make them too long either. So uh, yeah, but it's looking good. We're actually uh, that was not too bad, but there's still a lot of work to do. So I may try to bolt the hinges up uh, tomorrow, and uh, we'll keep it rolling. So thanks again, and hit subscribe.